Crime in San Diego is the lowest it's been in decades, but not everyone is buying it. Yep, new numbers out today show crime in the city of San Diego is down 13 and a half percent. We have murders, robberies, burglaries, thefts, and auto thefts. They're all down significantly. But 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live with the three communities where people say crime has spiked. Steve? Kim standing right in the midst of one on the gas lamp, which is part of the East Village. Also North Park and Pacific Beach. Some very popular night spots. It's not just the men who get into fights outside of bars. Women slug it out too. There are videos of many drunken brawls after a night of heavy partying. And neighbors are tired of it. If you go through Pacific Beach now, you're likely to step on some gum, maybe step over some urine, and from these statistics, you may be sexually assaulted. Police Chief Shelley Zimmerman presented a look at crime statistics down citywide 13.5%. But it's not a completely rosy picture. Rapes and assaults are on the increase. Some of the blames being placed on customers being overserved at bars. These are the neighborhoods where the problem is mushrooming. North Park, the East Village, and Pacific Beach. The rapes are coming from unaccompanied young women who are staggering out of bar-like restaurants and being followed and supposedly helped, assisted by males. One suggestion was to create a task force to regulate the businesses, hold the bars more accountable. The police have done a great job. We cannot fault them. Uh, the, they've been given an impossible task. Enforcement alone cannot solve this high crime. And the neighbors want to change city policy regarding the issuance and regulation of liquor licenses. No more two-for-one drinks. Cheap, cheap, cheap. What are you bringing in? People who will drink fast and get drunk. And police are out keeping an eye on this. And the good news chief had to say today, she said the latest class of uh, recruits has started the police academy and it's 48. That's the largest number in many years. Live in the gas lamp, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.